I have some bitter memories of gaming from my childhood. Don't get me wrong, I was privileged enough to have all of the mainstream consoles. I even managed to get my hands on most of the better titles. I missed a fair share of SNES classics, but there were a ton of them, so that's to be expected. However, only once can I remember sheer disappointment. You see, I never really knew anything about video games as a kid. I didn't have a subscription to Nintendo Power, and none of my friends were interested. Back then, my friends and I played with action figures, mostly Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. Very rarely were video games even mentioned. However, by chance, one of my cousins got Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy, and I had never wanted a game so badly at that point. I can't even remember if it was a new game or a few years old, I just remember really wanting the sequel to the very first Mario title I ever played or owned. So, with my birthday around the corner, I was extremely excited, and that's all I ever talked about. Thinking I was going to get it, I plowed through other packages containing the newest Goosebumps books and the like, knowing that my mom probably saved it for last. Finally, I had two packages left. The first was Jurassic Park 2, The Chaos Continues, which I was blindly excited for because dinosaurs. The second game was a Mario game. Oh boy was it a Mario game. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you a game that I have beaten more times than I'd like to admit. Mario is missing. After the disappointment wore off, I remember having a surprisingly good time with this one. I know, it's an educational game and those are supposed to be sinful, but I was a kid. I loved to learn. The music was pleasant, it looked like Super Mario World, and I couldn't die. But let's be honest, it's not a good game. I think it does get a bad rap, so let's check it out. The title of the screen pops up and Mario falls down a hole. Off to an excellent start. Luigi enters Bowser's castle to look for him. You walk into this room full of doors. Ah, jeez, does it matter? Let's go with this one. And... This isn't Bowser's castle. This isn't Bowser's castle at all. So where the hell are we? Moscow? Wait. I was joking, seriously? We're in Moscow? Oh wait. I'm supposed to figure that out by asking people. Yeah, you have five people to get information from to help you figure out where you are. As well as learn about the artifacts you get from the Koopas. There's a cop, a fat tourist, Doc Brown, a skater kid, and... What the hell? Is... Is this even a human? Yeah, one of the first things you'll notice is how jarring it is to see Super Mario World sprites slapped over something a ten-year-old drew. It looks like a bad Mario paint scene. You go around stomping Koopas. See, it is a Mario game! Usually they just explode, but three of them are carrying items they stole from the city. When you find them, you go flying uncontrollably across the screen. Yup! You pick up their poop piles, and then bring them back to Peach, who is filling in for all of the information booth attendants in the world. Busy girl, working 45 simultaneous shifts in six of seven continents. She makes you answer some pop quiz to make sure you're legit. Yep, I'm really lying about this top of the Kremlin. Clearly it's made of banana peels. If you get a question wrong, you need to go wander the streets for a while until she decides not to be busy. Once you've returned all the lost items, you need to have Yoshi come to your city to scare off Mr. Prick and beat the level. It's amazing how Bowser decided to kidnap Mario and have his Koopa steal a seashell from Rio to ruin their lives. That's the master plan if I ever heard one. So did you have fun in Moscow? No. Well, too bad, there's 14 more levels of this. Give the game some credit, some of these towns look like what an uneducated person would assume these towns look like. And considering it's aimed for five-year-olds and probably designed by six-year-olds, I'd say it's the epitome of educational gaming. For what that's worth. Okay, I'm over this educational nonsense. Come on, Yoshi. Screw those landmarks. Let's just go home. What? I didn't secure the area? This modern warfare? So yes, you do have to return all three stolen items. But if you leave a few Koopas around, that's just fine. Oh, wow. These look 
horrible. I feel bad for the intern that had to draw these with only two fingers on his hand. Well, at least Luigi will have one hell of a scrapbook at the end of all of this. Once you finish off all five doors, it's time for a boss fight. Oh. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. You still can't take damage, and you need to jump on this guy six times to take him out. He's faster than you, he can dodge your jumps, but he can't hurt you, so I honestly don't see a reason for this other than to say, hey look, we're a real Mario game. On to floor two. Oh boy, am I sick of this. I'm not even halfway done. Fast forward through these and another boss fight, which is exactly the same. Screw it, floor three. Yep, still the same. Oh hey, it's New York. I need to bring King Kong back to the Empire State Building? Well, alrighty then. Yep, more of the same, and for a third time, the same boss. What's hilarious is that they all have the exact same body sprite. Must just be one guy wearing a mask. Bowser just must have been shorthanded after sending his Koopas to 15 different cities. So now, the final floor. You hit a switch. Well, you don't hit it. The game just does it for you. Mario comes from a wall, and here comes... No. Oh, God, no. I know there weren't any real good Bowser sprites to steal at that point, but... This? Seriously? Luigi hits the same lever that opened the wall to shoot Bowser out of the cannon. Apparently, Antarctica has a real problem with all the snow covering liquid nitrogen as Bowser instantly freezes and shatters. And before you can say, are you kidding me with this shit, the credits roll. Yep, just like that, the cutscene abruptly ends and it cuts to the credits. Oh wow, that's a lot of artists that can't draw that worked on this game. I'm guessing this is just Mrs. Humperson's kindergarten class. I retract my previous statement, this game is horrible. From the terrible graphics that can be chalked up to the terrible artist, to the bland repetition about every aspect of the game, the music is almost good, but it's just because it's Mario World music that was poorly remixed. The controls aren't terrible, which is surprising considering they're the least important thing in this game. Oh, I mean, the flying off Koopas is stupid, but that's just nitpicking. While you may learn something, it's just very specific trivia you'll end up forgetting in a week's time. You're better off on Encyclopedia Dramatica. There's no replayability either, because the Koopas holding the items always spawn in the same spots, and Peach is only going to ask you two of the three questions. It's just awful. So I'm hoping if I get a game for my birthday this year, it's something a lot better than this.